decay to the theology. Are you scudding by osmosis? Am I doing the right thing? No more advice from me, remember? Come on, Joe. You're my friend. What's your opinion? Okay. On what? On me going up against Bennett Devlin. It's my word against his. So what? So? Kevin could have almost died, and someone has to be held accountable. Yeah, the person that needs to be held accountable is the person who lowered his head and opened his IV line, not you. I know, but what if I am starting a fire that I cannot put out? Karen, if you don't fight this, then... Then I could kiss it all goodbye. I have no choice. <sighs> Doc, a person with her big toe stuck in a faucet is not an amusing thing. Well, that is if you're on my side of the door. Oh. How'd you manage that again? Well, I was trying to be sure the little shower button was pushed in and the temperature... Never mind! Just get me out of here. I'm getting cold and my bubbles are deep fizzing. And besides, I'm turning into a flesh-colored prune. Oh, I was wondering what we were having for dessert. Would you stop? Just please call someone to get me out of here. All right. Locksmith? Plumber? I'll have you know now, nobody's going to ogle my fiance while she's wearing nothing but melting bubbles. Kevin Collins? Now, a welder's torch may cost you a toe. That's not good, because then you'd have to wear orthopedic wedding shoes. Would you stop teasing me? I was just trying to show you a good time. Oh, I'm having a ball. I just wish you could enjoy the fruits of your labor. Oh, you better stop it. That better not be a raisin joke. <laughs> it's not. I'll call someone. Kevin. <laughs> you know, I'm not actually having a conversation with the door. Uh, well, I, mean, I was going to ask that, but uh, first I really must inquire about the decor. Audrey? Audrey, is that you? Help uh, me. I'm freezing to death. Lucy's... Uh, her big toe is stuck. I, and, and you're not going to help her because... Uh... Uh, the door is locked from the inside. Uh, uh, dare I ask why she's in the tub? Well, obviously, I was trying to surprise my Kevin. <laughs> and she uh, succeeded beyond her wildest dreams. Audrey, Audrey, you, you must have one of those magical mystery little keys to unlock anything, right? My non-judgmental, non-laughing friend. <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> are you laughing? <laughs> you are. You're laughing at me, Kevin. Is she laughing Ow. at me? Careful! <laughs> no one's laughing, Lucy. Surprise. Howdy there, partner. What can I do for you? I want to go. Oh, well, that would be down the hall, second door on the right. No, I came here to tell you what I need to get started. That can't be too comfy.
ever seen. The lighthouse looked like this. Oh. be a doctor the rest of it all of the all the politics and the backbiting that's not what i signed up for all right then let me play devil's advocate here for a moment you do have a choice right there's no rule saying that you have to defend yourself against evelyn's charges well, what do you see as an alternative you sit tight and uh, you wait for your reprimand or whatever it is and you wait till people move on to something new is that what you think i should do given you one possibility, one suggestion. This will blow over in time, whether you lace up your boxing gloves or not. No. Absolutely not. Joe, I cannot sit back and take the fall for something I didn't do. No. Kevin will be done with his tests very soon. I'll go see him. What are you going to tell him? I'm going to tell him the truth. I don't want him believing that I made the mistake that almost cost him his life. <laughs> Most people would relish a soak in a hot tub. Mm. Well, <laughs> hot is the opposite uh, word. It's not. My poor toe. Oh, oh dear. Uh, Everything all right in here? Don't you dare come in. You stay out there. I'm all pruny and wrinkly and squeaky. Mm, wow, now, wow, this is going to hurt you more than it hurts me. Oh. All right? Are we ready? Okay. Okay. One. Ow. Oh, my goodness. Three. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 34 years of working in General Hospital, and this is the first toe I've ever had to pull out of a fussy. Well, aren't you the little mm -hmm. lifesaver? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Audrey, uh, I do hope that you're very discreet about this, you know. I, I would hate for you to tell anybody, like Kathy Bell, you know, the PR queen from hell. Oh, no, 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 my lips are sealed. Here's your towel, and you put your robe right here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tom. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you, Audrey. Oh. Thank you. I needed a laugh. That's <laughs> <laughs> just one of the perks uh, of life with Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you really do look wonderful. Just seeing you is an inspiration to me. Oh. We had pretty similar operations, you know. Well, despite the fact that my procedure was performed by an intern wielding a power tool. <laughs> Let me ask you, when you were injured, did you experience any dreams that were out of the ordinary, unusual, but strangely lucid? I don't recall any. Have you? Oh, once. Right before surgery. What do you need? 40,000. To start. Gee. <sighs> Which includes? Running a lab space, computer time, equipment, supplies. You seem anxious to begin. Well, the sooner I get started, the sooner I get my share, the sooner I can pretend that you and Danielle nothing but a bad dream. You don't know how it warms my heart to see you dig in to make this enterprise a success. Although I have been hoping that you and Danielle would kiss and make up. Fresh blood is always good for the gene pool, don't you agree? When do I get my money? Tomorrow morning. Should give me sufficient time. Drink. Whiskey. I should take a check. You do that? I'll go down to the PC Federal, open up an account in the morning, and we can make deposits if you're traveling, for instance. 
traveling. That would be a euphemism for leaving town, right? Right. Oh, I'm, I'm shattered. Did you think that uh, I would leave you holding the bag when the bills came due? Don't you trust me? Not as far as I can spit. What's wrong? Oh. Seeing things. It's like somebody slipped me something. What, like poison? I don't, I don't think it's poison. I, I don't feel like I'm gonna die or anything. I just. piled. Drugs? <sighs> Probably. Oh my god, we have to get you to the hospital. You need to be evaluated. Come on. I have a little clarity right now. I gotta tell you this before. I start hallucinating again. You gotta get to the school and pick up Serena. She's stayed over for some kind of a Halloween thing. Okay? Okay. I, I, uh, well, I don't want her to see me like this. Why don't you just have your security men pick her up? No. No, no, no. She would freak out. Stop. I can't leave you like this. Take her to the park. Okay? I'll give you the secret word. She trusts you. No, I can't leave you. And then Lee and Gail will be on later. Okay, the word, the secret word, you've got to tell her. Star. Stardust. I hate leaving you like this. No, just go. Go. All right, all right, sit back, sit back. No, you don't. Fluids. No medications. Tell Serena I love her. Oh, what is this? So, what do you think? I think all my brain activity just stopped. Oh, good. I didn't ruin our post-operation, pre-honeymoon. New you celebration, did I? No, it wasn't typical, but then I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> you really mean that, don't you? Mm. 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 <laughs> Ooh, <watch> ahead. <laughs> no. I better. What? No, no, I She can't. says it's urgent. Hello? Thank God you're there. Listen, you need to get to the lighthouse right away. Who is this? It's Eve, Eve Lambert. It's Scott. He's in pretty bad shape. He's sick and he's alone and, and he asked me to pick up Serena. What, what about Serena? Is she okay? No, oh, yeah, Serena's fine. It's just that Scott cannot be alone right now. <sighs> okay, then. I am, I'm on my way right away. Okay. <sighs> Why'd you say my daddy's not fine? Doc, uh, Eve really sounded worried. You know, Scott, Scott's in some kind of trouble or something. What kind of trouble? I don't know. She just said he was sick. Well, what about Serena? Um, she's okay. Eve's with her, but someone's got to be with Scott, and I've got to go. I'm so sorry. No, 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 go. I'm fine. Okay, well, will you at least hold my place, please? You bet. <sighs> okay, see ya. All right. Ooh. Ah, Joe, uh, have you seen Karen Wexler? Um, she's visiting Kevin Collins. Oh, to check on his condition. Yeah, and to review some pre-op work that she did for him. Oh, I see. She wants to explain what happened to his line herself. Yeah, but that's just it. She can't explain it to him because she doesn't know how it happened. I don't know what's happening in this hospital. Oh, I'll tell you, there's been one thing after the other since the very first day. And now Karen. But Karen doesn't lie. And she owns up to her mistakes. I certainly trust your judgment. I owe my life to it. And I do know Karen myself. Should she just keep her head down and her mouth shut? You mean because Kevin is recovering well and the whole thing might die down? Well, if Karen is not culpable, I have 
two words of advice for her. Dr. Burgess. If Ellen hadn't fought back, a brilliant career could have been tainted or ruined. When Steve was alive, things were so different. General Hospital was about healing. That's what brought the brightest interns here, and that's why they stayed. With all the malpractice threats in the air, it's a wonder anyone learns anything about good old-fashioned bedside manners and listening. Hey, ma'am. You tell Karen to stick to her guns. She is doing the right thing. You're awake. Well, I thought you were that scary night nurse. Come on closer. I'm not contagious. <laughs> Unless you know something I don't. Uh, this is a, a nice room here. <laughs> All for naught. You're doing great. Dr. Devlin says I'll live. Is there something you want to say? Kevin, I don't know how much you know, but I swear to you, I did not make that mistake with your Ivy. <laughs> Mistake? Right before your operation, I was assigned to start an IV and set the flow. Right. But the next thing anyone knows, it winds up being wide open. Here. I raised your head. They came in to find your head completely lowered. And no one was seen around the IV stand except for me. I was the last one to check on it. So I was in crisis in the OR. Yeah. And now you're the one taking the fall. Kevin, I swear to you, I did not make that mistake. I would not do that. <laughs> Karen, I was awake. Don't you remember we even joked about how high to elevate my head? <laughs> now, I don't have a grasp on much else, but I remember that clear as a bell. Have you spoken to the nurses? Yeah, no one saw a thing. Uh, correction, they saw me leaving your room uh, before all hell broke loose. So now you're facing an official review. Yeah. This may not be what you want to hear right now, but you could be making too much of it. Even if there was a mistake made, there's no one on that board who hasn't made one. Oh, no, but I'm a doctor. Doctors make mistakes all the time. And this one turned out fine. The patient lived. I hear what you're saying, and you're absolutely right. Except that I'm not going to take a fall for something that I swear I did not do. Now you remind me of your father. But on you, the tenacity looks good. You were dead. That duck out there's mean enough to bite. What what were you doing? I'm sorry. Listen, we have some overdue business to talk about, some family business. We're gonna have to talk about that later. I know you mentioned that maybe I could come back and work for you, but I, I don't feel good about that until I explain to you why I never told you about Karen. Oh. Look, Rhonda, we're gonna have to talk about this later. Yeah, you mean I have to just sleep it off? Hey, 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 listen, I'm an expert at this, right? You know, I know hammered when I see it. I'm not drunk. L look at Scott. I, I know that thing with Serena, the kidnapping, was very upsetting, but it's over. Alcohol's not the answer to this. I saw a doctor. I've got to drink fluids. Uh, I'll... I'll talk to you oh, later. Scott! Oh. Scott, are you okay? Oh. Say something. Oh. I'm gonna call an ambulance. Oh. Rhonda, put the phone down. I've got to do something. Come here. Come here, Sam. Come here. Who, who do you want me to call? Just talk. Just stay with me for a minute. Oh, promise me. What? Don't tell anybody. 
Don't tell anybody. Okay, okay, I won't. Just promise me. I, I promise I won't tell a soul. Scott? Scott? Scott, are you okay? Scott? This is Lisa McCree. Tomorrow, Carl Reiner and Mel Brooks talk about the 2,000-year-old man and the stars of ABC's Dharma and Greg. Join Charlie Gibson and me on Good Morning America. Will Adam's cover-up cause Liza to lose their baby? Watch what happens on All My Children today.